praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, one acknowledge all the Akya who are pushing this truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. <clears throat> So I'm going to go through a few verses in uh, Proverbs, start, I'm starting at chapter 1, start at the top. It says, the Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. <clears throat> so this was from King Solomon. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity. All right, so to, to know wisdom... Is it means only a wise man can hear these these this knowledge and hear this truth. All right. If you're if the Lord's not dealing with you, if you if you don't have the Spirit working with you, you can read this Bible over and over and over, and you'll never get any understanding. The Spirit has to work with you. All right. Let's actually yeah. Let's go to one forty. Another factor you got to be a Jake for this Bible to to you know for to, to understand the truth. Right? Psalm 147 and 19, He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So it doesn't say he showed us his word unto Esau. It doesn't say he showed his word unto Ishmael. It doesn't say he showed his word unto Ammon. No, he showed it unto Jacob. All right? So the scriptures, this is why our elders, starting out with our elders, and their elders were the first... Um, were the first people in America, in Babylon, to actually understand the interpretation of the Bible. All right, let's get Ecclesiastes one and an eight, eight and one. And it says, "Who is as the wise man, and who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? And man's wisdom maketh his face to shine, and his bold, and the boldness of his face shall be changed." So. When we, you know, the, you, it makes me think about the story and these Catholics and these Christians, they, they, they butcher the story. They mess up the whole situation. But do you remember when they say that the wise men were coming to, to meet Yahweh Shai? They, they say it was three wise men, which in the scriptures is actually a bunch of men. It doesn't say there were only three wise men. But anyway, those wise men were Israelites. They were Israelite men to came to give gifts during the birth of Yahweh Shai, okay? In Bethlehem. So wise men pertains to the Jake, pertains to us, all right? Remember, every time, even in history, in, uh, uh, which was it? Uh, Daniel, he was, a, he was an interpreter. Joseph was an interpreter, you know, through the Spirit. That could have been the same, the same man. You know, that could have been the same man to in, in regeneration, reincarnated. So, um, that's what it is. You know, through the Spirit, maybe Joseph and Daniel were the same because they were both. They both had a gift to interpret, and to and it was interpreters of dreams in their case, right? So. <clears throat> I'm not saying that they definitely were because, you know, we don't have, you know, we only can have premonitions or, or thoughts on that. But it's a good chance that that was the same spirit. Um, but <clears throat> you have to be an Israelite. That's one of our gifts that Yahweh Bashem Yahshai gave us to break down these scriptures, break down these parables. Um <clears throat> So that's what it is, you see. Um, it says, and the boldness of his face shall be changed. So when you have this spirit on you, when we're out there teaching, our boldness changes. Because why? We break the spirits. If a spirit's on uh, an Israelite man or one of the Lord's prophets, you get bold with this truth. Why? Because the spirit, nothing, if you've ever prophesied or taught the scripture, or if you came across somebody who wanted to challenge you or debate you or or come against you. If the Spirit's working with you, you're going to just slice and dice that person or whoever it is, you see? That's one of our gifts, though, as Israelites. 
he shows his word unto Jacob. The interpretation is only given to the Israelites. All right. Let's get another verse that comes to mind. Well, there's a couple that just popped in my head. Isaiah 54 and 17. It says, no weapon is that is no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn this is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and their righteousness is of me saith Yahweh alright so it says here every tongue that rises against us the ones who have the interpretation we can condemn them because we have the proper knowledge the proper wisdom the proper interpretation and there's only one interpretation because you've got all these Christians. They'll try to tell you, oh, well, that just depends. Um, um, just depends on uh, how you interpret it. Well, that ain't the truth. So that's, you know, that's what it is. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see. What's another verse that popped in my head? Uh, let me see. Another verse is. But this word is this is our word. This, word. this is a heritage like we read. So nobody can, uh, you know, nobody can come against the prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Oh, shit. Let's see. I'm trying to remember. Here we go. It says uh, Amos three and one. Hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O sons of Israel, against. The whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for your iniqu all your iniquities. So we're punished because our, may, our people, our men, our leaders went off. They forgot about Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, but the Lord always has mercy on Israel because he keeps a remnant which will always be joined unto him by this truth. So that's what it is today. We're becoming in remembrance as the prophets and the Israelites. We're coming in remembrance of our power, of who we are, of our truth, of our knowledge. And, and you know, it's because we would jump down to verse 7. Surely Yahweh, the Most High, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So you see that? So he gives us his secrets. Because why? Because we're his prophets, his servants. That's why he deals with only the families of Israel okay that's why only the Israelites like I said earlier Joseph was an interpreter of dreams and also Daniel was and if you remember both of them prayed to Yahweh before they were able to interpret and break down those dreams and this is what we do we pray you know a lot of of, of us will be definitely pray before we go out to the camps that we, you know, we stay on the, the the one accord. That we stay. We don't teach anything off. We don't go off. We don't we don't feed the flock with you know bad bad bread, right? Meaning you you don't want to go out there and butcher the, the knowledge. You you want to keep it keep it one hundred according to the doctrine, all right? Because we get reprimanded if we go off. If an elder catches a, a, a brother in the truth, a brother in GMS catches us saying something that doesn't go according to what we've been taught or going go, go, go according to the spirit we are reprimanded and and, and rightly so all right because that's a serious serious thing you don't want to be out here breaking down the scriptures wrong all right we'll go back to proverbs you know you know it was just the spirit i didn't have nothing planned i just picked out i opened my bible Flipped a few pages and then Proverbs 1 jumped out at me. That's why I'm doing this lesson. All right. That's how I usually pick my lessons. <clears throat> Unless I'm moved by something that I see, then I, you know. But let's read 2. 
to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice and judgment and equity, to give subtility to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. You see that? So when you when you start to understand and, and you study and you part of this thing of ours, when you, if you're of the elect, you're gonna this this thing this wisdom is gonna is gonna give you a, a subtility and knowledge and discretion, meaning you you know you know how to conduct yourself, you know how to be you know how to handle yourself among all these wicked and these heathen. All right. Sometimes you gotta be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Sometimes you gotta be like remember when King David had had to act like a crazy man. You know, so you got to use wisdom to as we move in this wicked ass world, all right? But if you're if you have wisdom of this holy Bible, then guess what? There's no other there's no other knowledge that is greater than this, all right? Verse five: A wise man will hear and it will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. Yeah. So if you're part of this knowledge, you're part of the elect. This truth is going to resonate with you. The spirit will work with you. And you actually, you know, you're, it's going to make 100% sense. All right? And the Spirit will guide us. Verse 6. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. All right? So there's like a lot of dark sayings in the scriptures that these Christians, they have no knowledge on. Right? Like the chariots. You know, like, let me give you an example. Let's see if I can find a quick example. Um, through the spirit this is a, uh, <clears throat> okay this is it this is an example of a dark saying but if a Christian reads this thing they want to know what it's talking about it says, Zechariah 5 and 1, Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked up and behold a flying roll, which a flying roll is, is a, what you would call a chariot, what you would call a, a so-called UFO. Verse 2, And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll, the length uh, thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. So when I looked that up in the past, <clears throat> it's about two SUVs, Long and about one SUV wide. All right. So let's keep reading. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that go goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. So Yahweh is telling him, Hey, this is the curse that's going to go across the earth. And it, because the chariots, what you call UFOs, they are going to be a curse to the wicked. They're going to be an instrument of salvation to the, the the elect, and they're going to be an instrument of destruction to the wicked. So you see, this is an example of a dark saying, because if a Christian read this scripture twenty times, all he's going to be um, he's going to be baffled and puzzled. They don't know what, what we're reading here, but because Lord's will, I'm in that number. The the Lord's dealing with me. I'm able to see and understand and teach this dark saying that I'm reading, right? That's an example of a dark saying. Now it hits that, because why is it dark? Because it's going to be a curse to these people. The chariots are going to be a curse to the people. But when you go to the Christian church, not once have they ever told you about the so-called UFOs being the chariots of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Never once. Now that the prophets are on the scene, I have seen some of these heathen nations and these heathen pastors teaching about so-called UFOs and chariots, but that's just because they learned by from Jake. His why he shows his words unto Jacob, but and the Lord's gonna you know put them to death. The Lord's gonna confound them. They're not gonna be able to run with this knowledge the way the way the true prophets can run with the knowledge. All right, it says. My son, hear the instruction of thy father, forsake not thy law of thy mother, for they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head and chains about thy neck. Alright? And this is twofold, because the father is, the, is, Yahweh, is Yahweh, and the forsake not the law of thy mother. The mother would be like a, a metaphor for the doctrine, the truth. Alright? Not just talking about 
you know, uh, hear the instruction of your earthly dad or forsake not the law of your mother. Because remember, you know, you're in this captivity, a lot of our parents are acting like heathen, you know. So it's, it's more the father in heaven and more the, 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 the law of thy mother, which Sophia is the wisdom, right? That's, that's how you say wisdom in Greek. So it's a feminine, uh, personified as a feminine character, which would be wisdom, right? The law of thy mother. So it's a dark, that's another dark saying. People will be like, oh, well, that's talking about your mama. But no, it's actually talking about this truth. Because your, your, your mama in Babylon, she, ain't, she, she doesn't have the law. But the, thy mother, which is Sophia... Contains plenty of laws, wisdom. All right, moving on. Verse 9. For they shall be an, or, an ornament of grace unto thy head and chains about thy neck. Right, this truth, this knowledge. Verse 10. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, come with us and let us wait, lay wait for blood, let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave and the whole as those that go down into the pit. You see, so we we don't we don't jump into taking the people the, the innocent to the grave. This is what these these uh, other churches that don't hold the truth, they don't have the doctrine, they don't understand the wisdom or the knowledge. So they they teach falsely, and therefore they lead the innocent to be uh, to to the grave, right? Like we're reading right here. If you're in these Christian churches, if you have a spirit of Cesare Borgia, aka Jesus on you, hey, you're you're gonna you're gonna enlarge hell with that spirit. Because you're you're not gonna have salvation and you ain't gonna teach uh, the the innocent. You're not gonna be able to teach them the truth because you're too busy caught up in lies. So therefore you're gonna be in the grave and also you leading them to the grave. That's what it is, all right? All right, I got this B. But I'm going to close out on that, guys, because I got a customer, potential customer that just walked up. Salakia, Lord Dwell, I'll finish. Shalom. I want to give all the praise, all the glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. I want to give uh, double honors to the elders and to the apostles.